नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम आई सर एप्टेड यू टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड द फर्स्ट टू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द थर्ड वन विच इज़ अ सिंपल रिलेटिवली सिंपल क्वेश्चन ऑन रेक्टी लीनियर मोशन लेट सॉल्व इट फोर्टी एट्थ एन एथलीट रन ऑन अ स्ट्रेट ट्रैक सो द स्ट्रेट ट्रैक मीन्स इट्स अ रेक्टी लीनियर मोशन प्रॉब्लम शी स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम रेस्ट and runs with a constant acceleration for the first 2 seconds reaching a speed of 9 meters per second she then continues at this constant speed uh, for some time before slowing down to a halt at a constant deceleration before slowing down to a halt at a constant deceleration the total time taken from start to finish is 12 seconds the total time is 12 seconds total time If the magnitude of her acceleration is twice the magnitude of deceleration, then what is the total distance covered by her? Eighty-one meters, one zero eight meters, ninety meters, and seventy-two meters. We can uh, split her run into three parts. In the first part, part one, we will consider the situation where we st where she starts from rest, so her initial speed will be zero. her final speed will be 9 meters per second okay and uh, uh, for how much duration is she accelerating for the first 2 seconds so the time taken here will be 2 okay so we will calculate the distance which she uh, covered in the first 2 seconds let's first use v equal to u plus at v is 9 u is 0 A into two, so acceleration will be nine by two uh, meter per second squared. To calculate the distance covered, let us use s equal to u t plus half a t squared. So s will be uh, the initial speed is zero, so no need to write this half. Acceleration is nine by two. T is two, so t squared four. Two two will get cancelled. Other it will get cancelled by four, so it will be nine meters. Okay, so the in the first part of her journey she covered nine meters. Okay, next, she then continues at this constant speed for some time. Okay, so the speed which she has gained by accelerating, she continues to run at this constant speed for some time. That time is not given, so let us assume that time to be t. Okay. Let us assume that she was running with constant speed uh, for a time capital T seconds. Okay. So what will be the distance travelled by her in this? The distance travelled will be the speed with which she continued to travel. That's nine meter per second. Correct. That constant speed is now the final speed in her first part. So distance will be that nine meters per second into t. Okay, we still don't know t, but we will come to it later. Okay, we shall come to it. Now let us go to part three of our journey. So the speed now to to to, to begin her uh, slowing down to complete her run, the speed is still nine meters per second. Oh, sorry, not nine, not nine. Uh, what is it? Oh, okay, it's nine. Okay, it's nine. Nine meters per second. So this is its in, this is her initial speed. her final speed is zero according to the problem she then continues at this constant speed for some time before slowing down to a halt at a constant deceleration so she slow, she is slowing down to a halt so final speed is zero the total time taken for from start to uh, finish is 12 seconds see now if total time is 12 for how long will the part 3 continue okay part 1 continued for 2 seconds Part two continued for t seconds, and part three, okay, let us call it t three now. For how long will it continue? T three will continue for twelve minus two minus t seconds, or ten minus t seconds. Okay, ten minus t seconds. Okay, so we've got the time for the third journey. We also have some other information here. Uh, her acceleration her deceleration is constant and uh, the magnitude of her acceleration is twice the magnitude of deceleration 
what is the magnitude of acceleration uh, 9 by 2 meters per second square so what will be the deceleration the deceleration will be half of the magnitude of acceleration isn't it it's given in the problem right magnitude of our acceleration is twice the magnitude of deceleration so deceleration has to be half of acceleration half of uh, acceleration so that will be 9 upon 4 meters per second squared okay now let us again calculate uh, well rather the time t3 we can also calculate t3 in this way uh, final speed 0 initial speed 9 okay plus 80 but now the deceleration is there so we must consider it negative into t3 okay so what will be t3 now v equal to u plus 80 this is the equation that we have applied it's a vector equation let me remind you so acceleration must be considered negative if it is a deceleration uh, final speed 0 initial speed 9 meters per second so t3 will be 4 t3 will be 4 seconds now let us calculate the distance traveled by her during part 3 uh, s is equal to um, okay so let's go for v squared plus 2 a s now oh sorry no not, not that one yeah uh, v squared is equal to u squared plus 2 a s this is the formula what is the final speed 0 what is the initial speed 9 so square of 9 81 minus 2 into what is the deceleration okay we already considered the negative sign now so deceleration is 9 by 4 into s therefore s will be okay so send Achha, okay so 81 will be 9 by 2 s so s has to be 81 into 2 by 9 81 into 2 by 9 so that will be 18 meters okay but we also uh, have not yet considered or computed the distance which she traveled in the second part okay fine so let's now make use of 10 minus uh, t as t3 what is t3 t3 is 4 seconds correct t3 is 4 seconds so if t3 is 4 this t3 if it is 4 then uh, it is 10 minus capital t so capital t has to be 6 only then uh, 10 minus that will become 4 so what is the distance which she covered covered in the second part 9 into 6 so 54 meters so we are now required to add three numbers 9 then 54 and finally uh, 18 9 54 18 so this is the last part okay so it will be 81 right 9 plus 18 27 27 plus 54 81 meters so option a so it is a fairly simple problem but we have split it or you have to split it into three parts according to her uh, acceleration magnitude in the first case it is positive in the second one it is zero and the third one it is that the, the acceleration is negative okay otherwise a fairly simple problem 48 a